Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to show you guys how I do my relaxed glam or maybe in a rush glam is better. The first thing I'm going to do is prep my face with my vitamin enriched rich face spray base. Oh God, I haven't done a voiceover in forever. And I'm using it with a foundation brush because I don't want to get it all stuck underneath my fingernails. So I'm just going to pick a little bit up with this foundation brush, plop it on my face, and then blend it all in with my fingers. Um, I left a little blurb in the bottom bar if you guys have wondered where I've been, if you don't follow me on Instagram where I posted it earlier. So if you want to check that out, it's down below. So after that, I'm going to move on to my primer. I'm using the Skin Equalizer from Makeup Forever. I just love it. I don't think it gets any better than this primer-wise. So I'm just going to throw that on my cheeks, a little on my chin, on the nose, and then a little on the forehead. For foundation today, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever. little dance break. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face. I am just pushing the product onto my skin, not rubbing it. If you want to use a foundation brush to do this, be my guest. But we just want to get it all on there first, and then we're going to blend it out. I'm using this dual-ended foundation brush from IT Cosmetics to just push the product into my skin and help make us a little more matchy-matchy since my face is super, super white compared to my body. I did self-tan before I left to LA, um, but I've washed my hands like a million times. That's why my hands seem way lighter than the rest of my body. But I'm using the color 155 in the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I think it is a perfect match to my fake tan. So we're just going to continue to blend this out and I should actually say push this in because I'm not really blending I'm pushing the product into my skin for the fullest coverage possible <laughs> moving on to brows I'm going to use oh I'm just trying to show you the matchy matchiness <laughs> for brows I'm going to use the brow wiz in Burnett to first pencil them in and then we will use a little bit of brow powder to fill them in even more and make them look just softer. Um, the pencil will make them look a little harsh, but it's just easier for me to outline my brows like this and then go in with three colors. I use soft brown, auburn, and ebony, the darkest side of each one of those. Next, grabbing some translucent powder, I'm going to rub out any foundation on my lids and then just put a little bit of translucent powder on there to prevent my eyelids from getting greasy or the foundation uh, to prevent it from creasing in my lids because we're not going to wear any uh, eyeshadow for this look. Taking an eyelash curler, I'm going to really, really curl these lashes because we will be skipping falsies for this and just loading on like... I don't know, a bunch of coats of mascara. I am only going to use two mascaras. I'm going to use the Lash Accelerator and the Voluminous from L'Oreal and just really get down at those roots to make them appear thicker than they are. I'm not going to throw on lashes, but if you want to do it, I won't hold it against you. Taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light, I'm going to use this to conceal and highlight underneath my eyes. I really love using this concealer if I'm in more of a rush because it just blends out so effortlessly and it just has a great consistency and it really brightens you up underneath there. So I am still going to conceal in this kind of method, the triangle method. I just, I'm obsessed. I don't think I'll ever conceal any other way underneath my eyes. I just love it. Thank you. 
And to blend out, I'm going to use the stippling brush from Real Techniques. This is in real time. I didn't speed this up or edit this clip because I just wanted you to see how easy this concealer blends out, especially when I use this type of brush with it. And again, I'm just pushing the product into my skin, not so much rubbing because we want the product to stay right where we placed it. Taking some more of the translucent powder, I'm just going to use this to set our under eye concealer. Then taking Lucid from the Shade and Light palette, which is the kind of orangey peachy color, I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes to keep it bright, but I used the peachy color because I didn't want it to be like overly bright. Going in with Shadow Play from the same palette and mixing it with a little bit of, what is that called, Subconscious, we're just going to use this to throw a little bronzer on. I like to use this Morphe brush at first just to chisel out that line, um, but don't let that scare you. It isn't going to be a harsh contour. I go back in with the contour brush from Real Techniques just to thicken up that line, and the line that I put on first is just to help me keep all my blending above that line. So you have more of a precise contour instead of like a sloppier looking one. It just helps me personally and that's why I do it. Taking Peaches from MAC, I'm going to use this as our blush color. I love it because it has almost like a little bit of a sheen to it which makes your cheeks look like they're just glowing from within. And of course we're going to put a little bit of highlighter on and I'm going to use my compact shine on from Makeup Forever. You know this step if you watch my video, we're just taking a stippling brush and blending it all together to get rid of any harsh lines and excess product. Going back to our mascara, we're gonna do our lower lashes. I tried to do it on camera, but I have to get so close to the mirror to see what I'm actually doing. And we're just touching up our top lashes. And we're gonna set our brows with a little bit of Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm way more into the clear now than the colored, which is just weird. It's weird how you change what you like. I'm going to recurl my my lashes after mascara don't be nervous just do it gentle if you're nervous just don't do it we're almost done we're moving on to lips and I'm gonna use a lip liner from Mac in the color dervish it's kind of like my regular lip color just a little bit more mauve esque and on top of that I'm going to first put dainty from Anastasia Beverly Hills the lip gloss but I didn't love it after I put it on I just think that it made my lips kind of look like they were like non-existent like it made them a little too nudie I love the lip color in general, I just didn't love it with this look. So on top of that, I put another gloss from Anastasia in the color Vintage, just to deepen up the lips a little bit. So after the lips are on, this look is complete. Well, this face is complete. We're gonna do a little bit of effortless hair. So I'm gonna clip in my extensions. I'm rocking my Bellamy extensions. Remember, these were cut to me, but this is Lily hair, so it is super duper thick. I'm also going to be using this 32 millimeter barrel. And this is what I do when I have straight hair, but I just want a little more body. I'm just gonna go in and curl random pieces. All the hair is not gonna be curled. Mainly just the top portion of my hair is going to be curled. Um, and then we're just going to brush everything out so just continue to curl random pieces if you want to do this look and I like to use the wider barrel because I just want it to be relaxed and effortless so the larger barrel will help you to achieve that look
And then after you have all the pieces you want curled, I'm just going to brush it all out to help it blend with the straight hair. And it just gives me a little extra body and it's done in less than 10 minutes. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have a new video for you tomorrow. I don't have anything to say except I love you guys. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.